So we want to, you know, grabbing the data is informative, but it doesn't help you. What we want to do is get demand planning at the outlet level. Right now, we forecast down to the sales center level. We want to take it to the next step down to the outlet level. So again, the beverage industry evolved. We're an old, old, mature industry. Um, from times of conventional trucks that were independent operators to where we're actually taking orders in advance. But our tools didn't evolve in front of our business process. Our business process evolved and we have some tools. We have pre-sale teams that we need them to get those orders right in the outlet every day. Just because they're taking an order doesn't mean they're taking a good one. We want them to take a good order every time. We want to be in stock at the lowest cost. We want to, if we only get a few positions in the back of a store, we want to optimize those inventory positions. We want to reduce the amount of times we go to a store. Everybody wants to do that. You want to make sure you have the right inventory because we have 95,000 accounts. Let's say it costs $100 to drive to an account. If we, if we have 1% of our accounts that need extra deliveries each week, that's 950 accounts at $100. That's $95,000 a week we're spending that we wouldn't need to spend. Just to tell you how those, the law of large numbers starts to get to you. And of course, we want assortment planning at the outlet level, whether it's a chain retailer or it's your local pizza shop. So we want to forecast at the outlet level to, mo to model each outlet. Uh, we want to eventually turn that into predictive ordering, because once you have a forecast at the outlet level that you enrich with promotions and you provide that to the pre-sales teams, they now can order better when they're in the outlet looking at those 300 accounts. We also want to use the information to drive down the future costs of service, because we have better information. We can more effectively service the account. Instead of taking two hours to service an account, we can get the work done in one hour. And then we can have that person merchandise or service more accounts. We also want to be able to dynamically manage our, our merchandisers and pre-sales teams.